Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another Keyshot Quick Tip. My name is Rex and today I'll be showing you a simple technique for those of you working with interior scenes. Our support department received this image from one of our users. He had the image of the doctors in the operating room applied as a back plate which was visible through the glass window. But he was having trouble setting up his model to match the scale and angle of the image. So let's go over to our Keyshot kitchen and I'll show you a workaround for something like this. What I'm going to do is put a plane back here with an image on it as a label and that's going to give us the control we're looking for. So let me show you how to do that. I'll delete this plane and this is what it looked like before. If we try and get a nice view of our our kitchen scene here, um, let's say we're about at eye level and this is not conveying realistically uh, this back plate through the window. You're seeing only the tops of the trees. I'd like to see some of those trunks and um, maybe the grass and, and the road as well. Another thing we're seeing here is the reflection on the countertop is of the sky, but it's not very interesting and looks a little flat. So what I'd like to see is uh, some reflections of the trees there in the countertop. So then let's get started by going ahead and importing a plane. Everyone should have these models located in their Keyshot 3 resources folder. And we're going to need to rotate and move this plane so it's parallel with the window. If you hold shift while rotating, um, it the object snaps in 15 degree increments. I find this very handy. So we'll position this behind our window and depending on the image you're using and uh, the reflection you're trying to achieve you will have to adjust the distance between the two accordingly. So the back plate we're using here is our stock key shot back plate right here. So we're going to go ahead and take that, export it to our desktop, and then use it as a label on this plane. So we can just drag and drop onto our plane and add it as a label. And you can see uh, it comes in a little crooked. That's because we're not squared up to our plane when we place it on there. So then, if we are square and we go to position this label by going to our Labels tab and clicking the Position button, we'll now see it straighten out. So we're going to increase the scale and lower this down so it's lined up behind the window there. let's take a look at that through our saved camera view. Okay, we still need to shift it a bit to the right. We'll do that using our shift sliders here. So now we're seeing a bit of the road and the grass as well as the entire trees in the sky as well. So this is looking a little more realistic and you also get a nice reflection of some of the trees in here, a bit more interesting. Something else that's cool about using labels is you have this intensity property. So we're going to crank this up to get a little more vibrance out of the grass and the trees. Um, goes along with our scene a bit nicer. So there we go. This is our label applied to a plane gaining a little more control of our so-called back plate and it, it was looking like this before uh, looks like we're up on the second or third story which is not the case so hope this is helpful for others out there and until next time thank you